Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. <sighs> so the cold is gone. Uh, it's not completely gone, but you know, the, the temperature is doable. Uh, we're sitting about 40, 45 degree now compared to last week. Last week we were single digit. You know, low is seven. You know, the highest was like 15. Shit was cold. But anyways, welcome back. Um, happy new year to everybody. Um, happy New Year to all my subscribers uh, Happy New Year to all my new subscribers All my followers and all my new followers um, I wish you guys the best this year to come And yeah um, I just want to give you guys an update Of what is going on with everything uh, So the 240 is sitting here You know how sad is it? This guy is screaming to come out It's been months Well the last event was uh Slate ride, it, it's, it's not that long, it's maybe like a month, but uh, yeah, uh, I miss driving this car, this is, this is just too much fantasy man, like, looking at this car sitting in here, it's just sad, but you know, what are you going to do, off season, gotta get a ticket rest, you know, get some dust, uh, as you guys know, the car is running really good, I got a couple of stuff for it, I got me a new set of caliper because I think my front caliper they were running a little bit of issues uh, so I ordered a new set of caliper from uh, Par Shop Max man I'm telling you these people they're good man if you guys need anything from Par Shop Max uh, just email Tommy uh, he's a really cool guy and I'm pretty sure he would take care of you really good so this is the caliper from Par Shop uh, part shop max. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure this is like the rebuild centric or something. They just power coated, but it just the service, you know, and 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 the attention that they give you is 100. percent So I just want to give you a big shout out to Tommy from Part Shop Max. Uh, happy New Year and all the best for you this year. And uh, yeah, this is the caliper. Mm, looks good. Uh, what I'm planning to do, um, I like the gold, but I think I'm going to change it up a little bit. I'm planning to repaint this. So this is going to be a small project they're going to have uh, during off-season. And also, I got something from GK Tech. Mr. Greg, thank you so much for your attention as well. I got, a, I got me a set of mirrors. Oh my god, I have so much gift here. I just have so much gift. This is all, this is all from Christmas, guys. <laughs> no, I'm joking. So, I got me a set of... This. Mirrors. Uh, these are plug and play from GK Tech. Uh, I already wrapped, wrapped them. With carbon fiber, which is... Came out really good. Look at the quality, guys. Damn, focus. Uh, damn. This thing looked legit. Nice. So I'm going to have my carbon fiber mirrors. This is the, uh, the driver's side. It's not carbon fiber, but I wrapped in carbon fiber, which is... I was bored, so... Damn, it looks legit. Uh, I want to try to put them on today. So this is going to be plug and play damn it looks so sick um, wrapping it up it wasn't too hard maybe because I already have the experience but I have to patch up some part like for example like this part over here I have to reheat it here I know you can see here and also the inside was a little it was a little difficult to get in but hey for view they look sick they look nice. Very good. You know, no bubbles, no nothing. It's perfect. We're gonna try to put them, put this on today. Uh, and also, I wanna talk about that over there. So yes, this is a 1992 240SX convertible. And I think this is the cleanest car that you guys can see on the East Coast. No rust, no damage, the paint is still shiny. 
maybe a little dent here over there but again it's a 25 years old car guys so it's nice it's clean we got this baby over the weekend uh, on a really good price um, the too bad is the car is automatic I don't really you know but I'm debating between doing a JC swap in this car or doing a RB swap in this car now um RB because I already have a JZ so I want to really how see how the motor you know behave I never really have an RB before so boom the course turns on right away uh, like I said the car is automatic uh, and also I never had a convertible top which is you no, know, the car is everything is here. Power windows work. Uh, radio work. Uh, the top work. Uh, the, the the bad is the top is a. Uh, I think the plastic window is broken. So I already ordered a new uh, top. Um, the dash is cracked as usual. I already ordered a cover for the dash. Um, that's pretty much. Uh, this car have. I think the title said 95,000 miles. So that was like probably like I, uh, the owner said like two years ago. So just put it 120,000 miles, whatever. But the car is clean as F. Power windows work. Nice. You got power lock. Didn't really work, but I don't know how this thing. I think it's power window lock. So when you lock them, yep, exactly. You can't even use them uh the rear windows work if you want to put this down ah nice i never had one of this before so here this as well and the most important the tops work guys check this out so there is two clip in here so you're just gonna lift this up one and also here right you lift this up and you just press that button top down what damn i love this car man this is nice like i said i never had a convertible uh this this thing is feeling good this thing is feeling rad uh it came with a ka24 de motor uh, uh, the engine bay is really clean. There is no rust whatsoever on the inside the bay. Motor is running good. No rust. Good. No rust. Motor is clean. You know, I just gotta give it a wash, and everything is ready to go. Uh, like I said, the car is automatic, and also the only thing is here, there's a little dent here. But again, this is cosmetic, and these are 100% fixable. Uh, there's no rust on the knees. The car's overall is, I would give it, I would give it, oh, I don't know, man, like 70 over 100. It's nice. Nice, nice. Oh, like I say, I wanna build a JZ, another JZ, or maybe an RB in this car, uh, just to be a daily driving, or maybe occasionally drift. Uh, but if you wanna drift with this car, we need a cage, you know, for safety. So we're gonna talk about that later. But as it is, this car is mint. Boom, so we're back. Uh, what we're gonna do now is uh, we're gonna install the mirrors from GK Tech. Uh, this came with the base. This is the piece, the trim piece that is going attached to the door, to the chassis. And again, here is the mirrors. Woo! My Rab is getting better and better. They look so good. God damn. 
Can't wait to have them on. Looks good. I didn't wrap this paste because it was a little too hard. But uh, the rest of it is nice. So we're going to put them on. And uh, I'll see you guys in a minute. So everything is pretty much uh, plug and play. Uh, it's very straightforward. We need a 10 millimeter wrench socket over here. Not to pull this cover out. Uh, this plastic piece that was over here, right? And the OEM uh, bolting place. Uh, you need to pull the door car a little bit. You know, just slide it down a little bit. Uh, and you're gonna have to use one of these um, trim removal tools. Uh, there's two tap in the back of this uh, plastic. You just slide it through like this and just pull it out. You don't want to really force this. I'm going to be honest to you guys, you won't be able to find this anymore. So if you break it, uh, I'm going to feel bad for you guys. That's pretty much. Just pull this out. 10 millimeter wrench socket. And then after that, I think the mirror should be, should drop. I'm not really sure. Look at the vert out there. Ah! 1J swap, vert, what? Man, it's gonna be a sick ride. I can't wait. So I just removed all the bolts, or two, three bolts, one in here and two in the lower section. And then after that, uh, this should be able to slide out just like so. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna go about this thing, but I don't think I'm gonna need it anymore. So I'm just gonna put it here. I'll put it back in here for now. I guess this is the bracket that's gonna sit on it. Uh, this is the other side, so I think it's this one. Oh, my bad. So it's gonna be this one. All right, so we got the two bolts. So this is gonna slide in onto the OEM trim piece right here, this plastic piece that is about to go. Just put it back in. You slide it through and you're good. It should be able to fit good. I think it's a little too big because the plastic thing, it, it just broke or or I pulled it too hard. Damn it. I messed it up. No. But I think this is going to sit like this. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do about this, but it just cracked. Fuck it. I think I'm just going to cut that out and we're good. Uh, we're gonna mount the interior pieces now and uh, I'll catch you guys in a second. So the mirrors are on, uh, everything is plug and play, pretty straightforward. Uh, one thing that I recommend is uh, grab yourself three washer and put it into the OEM mounting point uh, because if you don't, uh, the this bolt, this screw bolt, that came with the with the mirror, uh, it might go through the chassis. So to avoid that, you add yourself a washer on it. But overall, man, this thing looks so good. Oh shit, my door car is jammed. But damn, what? Holy cow, this thing looks good. Man, I should have wrapped this. Uh, maybe I'm gonna do the next one. Damn, looks good. They look good. Damn, I love how everything came out. Uh, what I'm gonna do here is, I'm gonna grab a uh, cutter, and I'm just gonna clean this up, because this old 30 years old plastic is is giving up so you know so 30 years 27 years old 25 years old car so they can't really expect much what nice mirrors banging pretty simple I'm gonna go ahead and install the other side and put everything back in and uh, yeah so this is it the mirrors are up Damn, they look good. Look at that carbon fiber wrap. Ah, looks legit, look authentic. I'm definitely getting better at it. 
Uh, mirrors are very easy to install. Uh, everything was basically plug and play. Take out this part and put it back in. Uh, these mirrors are smaller compared to the OEM ones. Uh, the OEM ones are way, way longer. What? More like a got more like a race car looking now, huh? Nice. A view from the inside. What? It really looks good. This side is two. Uh, what happened on that side is uh, when I was putting back the cover, uh, I don't know, I was rushing or something, but I broke one of those tabs that I was telling you guys. So I ended up using epoxy. So I glued it up. And I'm just waiting for it to dry up now. But it looks good. Look at that carbon fiber, man. I'm so I'm so hype about this. <laughs> so yeah, this is this guy. An update of what is going on with the 240. It looks so sad. Let me out. Let the bees out. <laughs> Can't wait on, until a uh, uh, drift season start. Uh, January will probably have another two or three months. Uh, three months. April is the uh, opening move. So, yeah, um, there's a lot. Of, I have tons of tons of parts to upgrade on this car. I have uh, the other calipers. I have. I bought a. I bought a wing, like I was telling you guys. So yeah, uh, and we talk about the convertible 240. Ah, uh, nice. Now, next video, I'm gonna take this guy uh, for spin. Uh, I never drove convertible on the, on the street, so I mean, it's hella cold, so you can't really do much. But yeah, car is lead, and also we're gonna talk about the other maroon car over there. I don't know if you guys can tell. Uh huh, the E46 that we haven't got a chance to talk about yet. Whew, I got so much car people are gonna hate me on the block man uh, And also I got the 90, 97 Silverado um, That's gonna be my tow truck Okay uh, For all the events the car is running really good uh, have a hundred fifty thousand miles, but it, it was well taken care of uh, the motor is very healthy chassis there's no rust on it and have never tow anything so it's virgin and that's pretty much guys so um 240 <sighs> that's pretty much yeah it's getting dark really quick lately uh i got other stuff to take care of now um i hope you guys enjoyed the video uh if you like this video please please give it a thumbs up uh, and uh, please follow, share, and subscribe. You guys have a good day.